Do you think um, it is important for women in marriages to have their own space and independence? Because I know you have always raised me as a woman who has her own independence, her own space, I don't know what, and, you know, can make her own money and all of that stuff. But, I mean, back then, what, how old were you? When I got married? Yeah. Um, I was almost 27. 26, okay. 26 and a half, I think. 26, okay. Um, I mean, you're still new to the whole, like, long, I mean, I know you were engaged, but long-form committed relationship. Did Was it instilled in you by your mother, it is healthy to have independence and your own space in marriage? Or did you kind of have it figured it out on no, your own? It was definitely instilled by my mother. Definitely. Definitely instilled by my mom. She was, uh, my mom was a very independent woman also. She, Lana should have her on her on her podcast one day I will one, one million percent yeah yeah because she has a she has a an amazing story her journey through this life um how you know she went from Syria to the U.S. so um definitely my mother was a huge part of it and my father so they always told me that you know I have to have independence and my nature is I'm very independent I'm very um I need my own space from the beginning, and Lana knows until now, I do my girl trips, I do my, you know, I have my own time. I, yes, I'm very, very pro-independence for women from day one into the marriage. How did you create that independence or space? Was it through having your own job? Was it through, at the beginning, having a pref or having like an expectation of, I will be doing these things? Like I will be having my space. I will be having my independence. Or was it something that just wasn't, was understood? I mean, cause dad grew up in Lebanon. I know he went to USC and then McGill, but he did grow up in Lebanon. And I mean, not to stere uh, stereotype, but back then, especially now, even you have a lot of, you know, closed minded people. So did, was it an understand, a mutual understanding or did you have to verbally say it? Do you know, I don't think I was, I had to verbally say it. I think I just did it. And your dad is extremely Western in his mentality. Correct. Even though he grew up in Beirut, born, raised, Beiruti, Sunniat family, um, he is extremely Western. If he was not Western in his mentality, I would not have married him from the get go. So that, let's be very clear. So um, he, so it was, we came back. So I got married in Dallas, end of 90. We got on the plane. We didn't even have a honeymoon, proper honeymoon. We had no money, so we had no honeymoon till later. Got on the plane, came to Dubai. Gulf War started. We had to go to London for a few weeks. Came back when things started to settle down a little bit more, and I got a job. So that for me, it wasn't that I even asked uh, Ahmad, can I get a job? Are you okay? I went out there. I started interviewing, and I got a job. And that was the best thing I did when I came to this country mm -hmm. because I, I needed to have my independence. I needed to make friends. I needed well, to... Well, also, it was like a desert. So, like, there it was, was a not desert. much... It was, there was no yeah, yeah. girls' was, day brunches at yeah. Maine. Like, no, no, no. It was, there wasn't even that much to do. I mean, you kind of had to get it also, like, to, to create, not just standing at home, you know, waiting, whatever, for your husband to come from work. You also had to create that independence for yourself. Absolutely. It was the best thing I did for myself was getting a job.